looking for a quick, easy, no-bake dessert that you can eat at any time, you are not going to want to miss this video. Hey friends, it's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So friends, today I found this recipe on, it's called uh, Desserts on a Dime. It is a no-bake peanut butter oats um, bar and it's only three ingredients, simple, you don't have to bake it. Uh, I've been looking for like a quick snack. Y'all know I've mentioned this a million times, I love my potato chips and I am trying to eat a little bit healthier. Um, I have not had potato chips probably in three weeks now, which is pretty amazing for me. Um, so I'm looking for something that I can snack on when I get that craving. And I think this is going to be the perfect recipe. Perfect recipe. So let me stop talking. We'll quickly go over the ingredients because there's only three and then we'll go ahead and get it made. Let's turn the camera around. All right, my friends, here we go. As you can see, it's only three ingredients. We're gonna be using some pure honey, the old-fashioned oats, and some creamy peanut butter. I will be getting out my um, vegetable spray because we wanna make sure that our eight by eight pan is greased really, really well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have one cup of peanut butter in there. Now I'm adding the next cup, so I'm adding two cups. I bought a 20 ounce jar of peanut butter and it was almost the entire um, jar. Not quite, but just about. All right, so I have two cups of peanut butter in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a cup of honey. All right, my friends, so we're gonna go ahead in and put one cup of honey. Yeah. This is a sticky mess, can tell you that. My hands are a little sticky already. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on, medium low. We are going to melt this and stir constantly. We don't want it to sit, okay? We're getting there, friends. We're getting there. This kind of puts me in mind of how I make um, my peanut butter fudge. I microwave a jar of uh, peanut butter and a can of vanilla frosting, mix it together, and that's it. This is very similar to this. I'm just doing it in the, on the stove top and using honey and then adding oats. So. I think I'm gonna like this since I love my fudge. Oh, all right, we're almost there. My hands kill me. <laughs> they hurt all the time. There we go, now we're getting there. There we go, can you guys see it now? Oh, I can hear it. Definitely, this is why you need to stir it constantly. You can hear it, you can hear it. There we go, it is melted i think there all right we're going to take it over to the counter and add in our oats all right here we go we're going to be adding three cups of oats so adding one i'm going to go ahead and add in one more stir that in I've already sprayed my eight by eight pan. Um, definitely feel it getting thicker. <laughs> All right, so my pan is already sprayed. I did that ahead of time because I had a feeling I wasn't gonna have a whole lot of time once I started adding the oats because you can definitely feel it setting up already. 
So you want to move a little fast, so be prepared. Oh, it smells so good. Definitely could have used a bigger pan though to help me a little. Get a little bit more of those oats mixed up well. All right, put our pan here. Go ahead and dump it all in. You can see how it burned a little bit on the bottom even, and I was stirring constantly. Now we're just gonna go ahead and spread that out. Just like that. I'm thinking you can probably even melt a little bit of chocolate and just do a drizzle on top. You don't want to add a whole lot just because, you know, you want to keep it as healthy as possible. But I think that would taste really good too, you know. I'm thinking even adding some dried cranberries or something. I don't know. I might have to experiment if I like, like this. So I'm going to go ahead, put this in the fridge. All right, my friends, have it all wrapped. Let me go ahead and put this in the fridge. And then let it go ahead, get firmed up, and then we'll do a taste test. All right, my friends, so some time has passed. We'll take it out of the fridge. It's plenty of time for it to get firm. There we go. <laughs> Let's do a taste test. All right, we're gonna go ahead and slice that up. Oh, it's definitely firm. Not sure how big to slice it because I don't know if it's gonna be rich or. Smells really good, really, really good. probably going to be the hardest to get out. Oh no, it wasn't bad at all. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, look. Oh, all right. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up real quick and then we'll do a quick taste test. All right, my friends. So here they are. They look delicious. They look delicious. I'm going to take a little one. I could have left them in a tad bit longer, I think. They are a little soft. The center ones were a little softer. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Good. I like these a lot. A lot. Mmm. I need to experiment. I definitely need to experiment with this. These are really good, but I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I'm gonna be kicked up a notch. Big time, big time. Oh, I love them, love them, love them. I'll let you know, hubby has kept coming down saying, they're smelling so good, I want some. I'll put down on the screen what he thinks as well. So friends, that'll do it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that little subscribe button as it does greatly help me out. Also check me out over on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter as well as TikTok, as I am active on all those social media sites as well. So friends, thanks so much, and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye.